In this presentation, we're going to talk about our pre-snap pre -snap movements, our shifts, and our motions. Okay, so here's an example of pro ham A. So again, we have pro formation, the X, the Y, and the Z, okay, line up in pro. And the ham signals the H to be in motion. That's why we have the H and the M. Okay, and he's going to motion to the A position. Now the question that will be asked is, well, how do we know where to start? We are going to give the fullback liberty to choose wherever he wants to start. So when we say down, okay, the quarterback will move his foot and send the H into motion. Okay, and we just moved him from a starting point, again, wherever he chooses, out to the A position. Because remember, A is slot to the left. Next, we have Zam Pro I. And based off of our protocol, we know that this play is actually a shift. So it tells the Z that he is going to shift to the Pro formation. Okay, so if we think about Pro, we have the X, the Y here, and the Z would be over here. Since we called Zam, that means he's got to shift to this position. So watch when we say down, the quarterback will say down instead of moving on the foot. When the Z here is down, he sprints to the A position. Bam, to the pro position, I'm sorry. If we look next, we have flip, plow, I. Okay, we have plow formation, okay, which means the Y should be here. The Z is to the left, and the X is opposite of the call. But what flip tells us is that the Y is going to shift to this position over here. So when we come up to the line, the quarterback will say down, and the Y will move to this side of the formation. Again, we caused uh, doubt and intimidation for the defense by lining up one way and then immediately shifting our strength of our formation. Next, we have flock plow B. Plow is the formation we want to end up with, so I mean the Y is going to be over here, the Z is going to be over here, and the X is going to be over here. And again, we want to end up in plow B. And if we call B, that means the H lines up over here. So watch when we come up to the line of scrimmage. Remember, again, flock means the Y and the H move. So when we call down, bam, they move to plow B. Next, we have flock plow D. This is just another example of the Y and the H shifting to plow D. Again, plow will be over here. Uh, for the Y, the Z will line up to the left. The X is opposite. And since we call D, the H will move from here to the D position here. Quarterback runs up to the line of scrimmage. I'm sorry, everybody runs up to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback calls down. They immediately shift. Next, we have Uber Truck I. Uber is not a shift. Okay, It is an unbalanced formation. That's why we call it Uber unbalanced to the right. So the left tackle, instead of coming out here and lining up here, will line up on the right side of the right tackle. We've created an advantage on this side of the ball by bringing another lineman over here. Now we have an advantage of having one, two, three linemen on this side of the ball to beat the defense. Next we have Ultra. As you can guess, it's going to be unbalanced to the left. Now the right tackle, instead of lining up on the right side, because he heard this call, will line up on the left side. This isn't a shift. When we break the huddle, he sprints to the left side over here. Again, we create advantage over here. Now we have pro E over. We line up in the pro formation. Okay, we have an E tag for the H, but we called over. Now over means the X, instead of lining up on this side, over here where he usually does, he hears the over call, so he just flips over to this side of the formation. Again, this isn't a shift. He would break the huddle and he would line up in the over position. Now, this is where our playbook gets really complex. This is where we want to end up after practice, uh, practicing our formations and our shifts a lot. Okay, here's an example of ultra flock plow C over 19. Okay, so we got to pay attention to the plow C. Okay, this is where we want to end up. Okay, so we got to pay attention to these tags as well. Ultra unbalanced to the left. Flock, that means the Y and the H are going to shift to plow C. Over, we tag the X because it's plow. Instead of lining up on the right, he would line up on the left, and 19 is our play call. So when the quarterback runs up to the line of scrimmage, he calls down. These two guys shift to plow C, and we have 19, which is our toss left. And as you can see, we created a huge advantage over here 
by just out shifting and out, out maneuvering the defense. Uh, another example of a complex formation that we're going to install is Uber Tilt I. Okay, Tilt I is where we want to be in, and Tilt member is tied in to the left, X opposite, and the Z lines up opposite of the call. So we have Uber that signals unbalanced to the right. Instead of lining up on the left side, the left tackle lines up on the right side. So now we have an advantage over here by having one, two, three linemen on this side plus two receivers. 